Hello, Richard here, and welcome to the second episode in my Payday 2 Weapon Guide. In this installment, we'll be covering the Akimbo Shimano Compacts. This pair of concealable yet lethal handguns act as the little brother to the Shimano Custom, granting the use of more ammo and a higher fire rate at the cost of reduced stopping power. The Shimano Compact handgun is based on the real-life Glock 26, and is a subcompact version of the Glock 19. While the 26 has not seen any major adoption by police or military forces, its diminutive size has made it a popular option for those looking for an easily concealable firearm. In the realm of cinema, a pair of Glock 26s are the primary weapons used by the Black Widow from the Marvel Universe. Like the Glock 19, they chamber the 9x19mm Parabellum round, and while not as powerful as the Glock 21 or Glock 22, they still provide an adequate amount of stopping power. The Akimbo Compacts offer you a highly concealable primary option, being able to have extremely low detection without having to compromise on handling. Lethality is moderate with a base damage rating of 37 and a fire rate of 667. While its damage is just shy of the all-important 40 damage breakpoint, with a few modifications this can easily be remedied. On overkill and below, the compact should have no trouble at all dealing with most units, being able to down even special units with just a handful of rounds. When ramping up the challenge to Deathwish, you will notice a severe drop in effectiveness, especially against tasers and cloakers who will require a lot of attention to dispatch. Headshots are critical for ensuring these enemies don't slow your progress, and special care should be taken when dealing with bulldozers. To compensate for this less than ideal damage, you'll want to leverage the compact's higher than average rate of fire, increasing your effective damage per second. Gun Nut Ace can increase your rate of fire to a blistering 1000 rounds per minute, a bit unnecessary considering the average person can only utilize around 600 clicks per minute. Still, the added overhead can be nice, but not needed to use these pistols to full effect. Those running the Muscle Perk deck can also provide suppressive fire to keep enemies' heads down during assaults or when moving to another position. The compacts are reasonably easy to control despite its stats being rather low. Out of the box, it'll come standard with 52 accuracy and 60 stability. However, thanks to the many skills and mods available to boost these stats, you'll easily be able to increase this to the mid-80s. While accuracy-wise it won't compete with most assault and battle rifles, it can certainly be used to counter snipers and hit targets from a fair distance. Try to utilize some of the pistol's range to soften up units before they become too much of a hazard. Recoil control is good, especially once upgraded, and with a bit of practice your aim shouldn't be affected too much by recoil. This, in conjunction with the high rate of fire, allows you to mag dump enemies even out to middle ranges without your aim being carried off center. Just be careful when engaging bulldozers outside of close range as their weak point becomes much less of a target with distance. One of the biggest upsides to using the compacts and all low damage akimbo pistols is the massive ammo pool you'll have, allowing for liberal use of the weapon. Total ammo will come in at 160 rounds by default or 300 max with a magazine capacity of 20 rounds or 30 upgraded. Reloads are a little painful especially considering you only have 10 to 15 trigger pulls before having to reload. Tactical reloads come in at 3 seconds and a full rechamber will take roughly 4 seconds to complete. The large differential in reload times makes tactical reloads important to utilize. To make good use of the compacts, leverage the high total ammo supply to hose groups of enemies down with lead. This makes these pistols especially suited for cleaning up lots of trash enemies as you'll still have plenty of ammo in reserve to deal with the real threats. Just be careful as tasers can quickly empty your magazine since you fire two shots per trigger pull. For our build with this weapon, we'll be focusing on concealment, dodge, and critical hits. And as such, Sneaky Bastard, Low Blow, and Unseen Strike are all critical to making this build effective, as well as any pistol skills you think will help. Our perk deck of choice will depend on personal preference, as Grinder and Crook both work very well. However, some players may prefer the health regen over the improved protection and higher dodge. 
Grinder can be more forgiving in situations where sprinting isn't an option, like carrying bags out on Firestarter or a bank heist. Dodge, on the other hand, can turn your character into your crew's guided missile, letting you avoid danger and deliver deadly knockout punches to bulldozers and other heavy units. Modifying our weapon will rely on the suppressor skills, and the first mod choice is the Monolith Suppressor, providing a boost to stability without hurting concealment as much as the Jungle Ninja or severely limiting stopping power like the smaller suppressors do. Next up, either the Concealment or Accuracy boost will work. Personally, I prefer the extra accuracy, but some more Concealment can let you take a bigger secondary weapon. Next up, for the gadget, I like the addition of the Micro Laser, allowing me to aim effectively on the move. However, the Laser Grip mod that we will be choosing next will make this somewhat obsolete. Alternatively, you can run the TPL if you can spare the Concealment. As for the rest of the mods, we will be leaving these choices blank in order to preserve concealment. For a grenade, I generally opt for the dynamite or frag grenades in an aggressive roll. However, the molotovs can still be an effective choice for limiting enemy movement. Your secondary should complement the compacts, so a high damage weapon like the Krinkov or the Bronco might be a good choice as a backup weapon, allowing you to devastate enemies outside of your normal reach. That's our build. Quick, agile, and extremely deadly. The compacts provide a fairly effective akimbo solution with an impressive lead output paired with fair handling traits for ease of use. However, its biggest issues will be its low damage, preventing it from excelling at death wish, and its small magazine size which will force you to reload often. Overall though, these pistols are nothing to shake a stick at, and can be extremely deadly in the right hands. Thank you very much for watching. Join me next time when we take a look at the OVE 9000. But until then, farewell.